Hey everyone, it's Kim. Welcome to Creating Community. And today we are on week number four of Linda's Prepping Kitchen Challenge, where we try to prep with $25 a week over six weeks. I joined in late. This is week number four, and I'm so excited to share with you what I was able to purchase for $25 with this week. And all of it came from the Dollar Tree. So stick around. We're about to get started. <music> have it here are all the goodies that I was be able to pick up at the Dollar Tree this week so let's get started so I have several different areas that I purchased I did some cleaning products I did um, some you know like hygiene type stuff and you know first aid type things and I also did some food products so I'm going to start over here with these two little pairs of socks um, and technically they weren't supposed to be part of the prepper um, but my granddaughter really loved them and I thought okay we will get them they're super fun super cute and you can't beat a dollar 25 anyways so let's move on I also picked up a package of double a super heavy duty batteries an eight pack and I picked up the super heavy duty triple a batteries as well then I also grabbed this awesome bathroom cleaner. I can't beat this for $1.25. And as you can see, there's just a tiny bit out of it. That's because I decided to go ahead and give it a try this morning. I had um, was cleaning my bathrooms and I thought, let me just see. I'll just clean the toilet because you know what? If it's going to work, that's where it's going to work. And I was very pleasantly surprised. I will definitely be getting more of that. I also grabbed these drop-ins for the toilet. I have never used these before, but you know, I'm of the mantra that, you know, that we should work smarter and not work harder. And I don't know about you all, but I really hate cleaning the bathroom. And if this helps a little bit, why not? So when I was going through my receipt, I noticed that the total was a little strange. because so I was like, isn't everything a dollar 25? But it wasn't. I got this iodized salt for 69 cents. So that's pretty cool. I also grabbed this Omega rice, jasmine rice. And I grabbed two of these mandarin orange cups. There's three of them in a container. My granddaughter just loves mandarin oranges. And the potato sticks, which actually I'm surprised because potato sticks I have been grabbing over an hour away from where we live for my dad at Ollie's and they have these so I'm going to just let my father know that the Dollar Tree has some potato sticks if he wants to go over and grab some more I'm not sure like price wise which one is better I'll have to look and see also I grabbed some non-stick butter flavor cooking spray I grabbed some white chicken and water I also grabbed two containers of chicken broth, the Swanson's chicken broth, and I like these because the date on here was like 2024, so I thought that was pretty awesome. And then I also grabbed some of these kids' placards for floss, um, and I'll be honest, I'm always taking Hope's little flossers. These are really fun to use and easy, and they're, they have like little flavoring to them. It makes them a little extra fun. I also grabbed some small gauze pads, Cure Ad, Cure Ad gauze pads. I grabbed a package of 40 um, Band-Aids. I also grabbed some alcohol prep pads and a toothbrush. So there you have it. And I will let you know what the total was because I did go over just a tiny bit because of the socks. Okay, you're going to have to excuse like the wiggliness and whatever of today's video because I cannot find my selfie stick anywhere. Like, and I'm not a messy person. I always put stuff where it belongs and I can't find it. It's like it just disappeared. I don't know. Okay, so enough of that. I ended up spending with tax $27.74. So I really wouldn't have gone over had I not bought those two pairs of socks for my granddaughter. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. They were so cute. And she, you know, always can use socks. So I 
pray that this video is a blessing to you. Make sure that you check out Linda's Prepper Kitchen and I will talk to you. Later.